The purpose of this video is to show you the setup for the Mechanical Energy Conservation Lab. This is a different track than you've used before. Hopefully a little bit uh, less friction on this track than on the other tracks we were using. You might have seen this before if you were in the JAWS program. I heard you use this in your physics component in physical science. This particular setup has two tracks. The first one has a bent arm to it, and that is this piece right here. The second piece has a straight arm to it, and that's this piece right here. Uh, you're going to use a photo gate just like you used before, and I'm going to show you how to set that up because we're going to set it up a little bit differently for this lab. You are going to have a stopper on the end. The stopper has a rubber band so that when the cart runs through, it bounces back and doesn't fall off the track. And then you have a different type of ring stand that has this thing called physics stand that actually has a level on there. And to adjust the uh, level of the physics stand, there are feet underneath that you can play with to see that you can get the bubble inside this green thing. I don't think that this needs to be 100% level in order for you to get good results, but you can play around with it to see if you can. You also have this purple stand here. The purple stand will allow you to screw in the bent part of the ramp wherever you see fit. Uh, you don't have to use only two pieces of ramp. You can have more pieces, just know that we have a limited amount and eight groups in this class. So in order to play with your ramp, you have an energy car. There are two of them in your kit, a or an orange one and a blue one. The blue one is what you want. The orange one is a sled and that will produce too much friction for this lab. There are marbles that you will place inside the cart and that's just to weigh down the energy car so that you might have better results when you transfer energy from its highest position to its lowest position. So what you're going to do here is choose a location at the top of the ramp. You're going to release and my cart was heavy enough that it even broke through the rubber band and just stopped at the stopper. The nice thing about this particular track is that the car should run perfectly straight and you shouldn't have a lot of energy loss due to friction and the car moving horizontally. Also notice that when I run the cart down the ramp, which I will do so here, you will see that red light turn on and off as the cart passes right underneath the ramp. I'm going to pause this video now and then we're going to flip to the vernier side so I can show you how to set this up for the, en the mechanical energy conservation lab. So now we're going to see how to set up vernier so you can collect the final velocity of your energy car as it rolls through the photogate. So it's a little bit different than we did for the marble lab because we're only using one photo gate instead of two. First thing you're going to do is you're going to go up here and you're going to collect experiments and then you are going to hit setup sensors. When you do that you're going to see LabQuest Mini 1 and that's what you're going to click on and you're going to see everything connected to your LabQuest Mini. You want to hit the picture of the photo gate and you want to change this to gate timing. And then when you change this to gate timing, you're going to also need to set the distance or length of the object that is moving through the photo gate. So you are going to collect set distance or length. And I've already measured the length of my car. How this particular setup works is that the photo gate measures how much time the whole car takes to block the sensor and divides that by the length of the car and that's going to be the instantaneous velocity of your car. I've already pre-measured that car and I found it was 13.4 centimeters. You need to double check your car because yours might be different and convert to meters, 0.134 meters. And then when I have that finished, I can close out of that and I'm ready to conduct my experiment. And go to start collection or I can hit the space bar. 
I can go over and grab my car. Run it one, two, three times from three different heights. As I've done that, I can hit stop. And when I scroll over to the right, I will see that my one means when the car entered the gate, the zero means when the car left the gate, and how long that took is here. They divided that into the length of the car and found the instantaneous velocity of the car as it went through the photo gate of 1.855 meters per second. So then you can save that data by going File, Save As. And when you're doing this on the Dell computers, remember you've got to change the file type to All Files. And when you title this, make sure you say trial one dot WMV file. And if, I'm going to double check that subscript, make sure it's correct. And then you hit save. That'll allow you to open that data on Google Sheets or Excel. So that's going to be how you collect the data for the Conservation and Mechanical Energy Lab. If you have any questions, let me know.